Okay, so the other day I was looking through the Shopify community forum and I found a post of someone asking how they can hide the announcement bar of their Shopify theme on mobile screens, so like phone screens, but still show it on desktop screens. And I thought to myself, hmm, that's pretty easy to do. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video right now. So if that sounds good, well, let's get into it. Okay, so we are currently on my Shopify test store app with wish list. If you're a fan of the channel, you've seen this one before. You can see at the top of the screen, we have an announcement bar that says, welcome to our store. So our goal here is to hide the announcement bar, but only on mobile screens. So if we hop back into our Shopify admin here. You can see I'm working with this theme. Now, whatever theme you wanna do this on, you're gonna hit customize first. So customize, and that's gonna open you to the Shopify theme customizer where you can add all your sections. Now the section we care about is announcement bar. I'm not sure what Shopify theme you're using, but pretty much every Shopify theme has some kind of announcement bar section in it. So just find that. So you click on announcement bar, you can see that we add the announcements as blocks in the section. So we got our announcement bar, we wanna hide it on mobile screens. But before we can do that, first, a quick lesson on screen sizes. Okay, so we're going to open up these three dots right here, go to more tools and go to developer tools. Now, if you're not using Chrome, just figure out how to get to your developer tools. So we open that up. Now you're in my world, the world of developers. So inside of here, you click this little icon right here, you have a bunch of different options. I am most interested in elements. Okay, so this shows us the entire HTML document that makes up the entire page we're looking at. As you can see when I'm hovering over stuff, you can see it's lighting up in different colors to showcase what I'm looking at, right? So if we click this icon right here, we're able to look at the screen itself and see the HTML that makes up different things. We're most interested in this announcement bar section up here. So what you need to do is you need to grab the class associated with your announcement bar. Now again, I'm not sure what theme you're using, but for this theme, the class is called announcement-bar. So we're going to copy that. Now, the best way to go about hiding the announcement bar on most screens is to add some custom CSS. So if you click on the announcement bar section, you'll see a custom CSS option. That's what we're working in. Now, if your theme doesn't have a custom CSS option at the section level, there should be one in your theme settings. Either way, you wanna make sure you're working in some kind of custom CSS, either globally at the theme level or at the section level. Or if you wanted, you could add a liquid block and put all of your CSS in there. So if you add a section, there should be a section that's called liquid, custom liquid. It is possible to add your custom CSS in there as well. Point is, it has to be somewhere. So we're gonna add it into the announcement bar at the section level. We're going to paste in the class we copied now, really important here, if you're working with the CSS class, in order for the selector to work, you need to put a period in front of it. That period lets the code know that you're working with the CSS class. If you're working with the CSS ID instead, you would put a pound sign. Now, what I mean by ID, if I look back at the HTML for the page, you can see right here, it says div ID. Shopify dash section dash announcement bar. So if I wanted to work at the ID level, I'd use a pound sign like I'm doing right here. But again, because I want to work with the class, I'm using a period instead. So we're gonna open up the curly brackets and we're gonna say display none. So as you can see, the announcement bar is gone now. But the problem is the announcement bar is gone on every screen size, not just the mobile screen size. So how do we make this happen only on the mobile screen? Now we're going to talk a little bit about screen sizes. So if we hover back over to our browser window here, I want you to click on this icon right here that looks like a laptop with a phone in front of it. So click on that. And this brings us to the browser's responsive tool, which we can see how our website looks like on different screen sizes. So you can see I have my screen size currently set to 393, but if I unclick the responsive option, I can drag it open to a bunch of different sizes and see how it looks like. Now, usually sizes bigger than 981 are like laptop screens or like big computer monitors. Stuff underneath 981, 
but bigger than like 400 are like usually tablet sizes or like really big phone sizes. And then usually beneath around 390 and less is most phone sizes. Now, of course, there are some phones that are bigger than 400 in terms of screen width, but we're not talking about those. We're talking about the most common phones. Now, I opened up this article that I found that talked about the most common screen resolutions worldwide in 2024. So this first one's a big computer screen. This one's a phone screen. The next two are big computer screens and the next three are phone screens. But the most important thing I'm seeing here Amongst all three of the phone screen sizes, the biggest one that's the most common is 393 in terms of width. So we're gonna work with 393 as an option. So up here in the responsive tool, I'm gonna type in 393, and this is what my website will look like on a screen size of 393. Okay, so now we need to hide the announcement bar. The best way to do this is to use something called a CSS media query. I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. So we're gonna copy this whole thing, cut it out, and we're gonna put the text at media and screen, and then let's do max with 393 pixels. So what this essentially means is at media, we're opening up the media query and we're saying, and at screen sizes that have a maximum width of 393 or less. So this media query is gonna hit any screen size that's either as big as 393 or smaller than it. All right, boom. Now that should work. Okay, now as you can see, the announcement bar is still there, but I know for sure that would work, so there must be some kind of problem. Okay, so I asked our trusty friend Gemini to look at my CSS media query syntax, and I made such a simple error, and this is proof that even developers make mistakes sometimes, right? So I asked Gemini, hey, is there anything wrong with the syntax of my media query? And it said, yes, the syntax was incorrect. So the correct syntax is at media screen and. I put at media and screen. So at media affecting the screen and max width of this, blah, 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 blah. So let's change that right now. So I'm going to rearrange that. All right, at media screen and. Let's try it out. Okay, as you can see right now, that's actually working already. Now let's refresh this right here. As we can see, the announcement bar is gone. If I were to open this up to be bigger than 393, you see the announcement bar comes back. If I put it beneath 393, you see it disappeared. Let's try that again. So I'm at 394, boom, it's gone. It's back, it's gone. And you can see in the browser, Right here on the bottom right, we're showing the CSS code that's being impacted on the screen right now. It's showing what's actually working. You can see the media query that we wrote right there inside of the CSS right here. This is proof that it's working. All right. Now, the really cool thing about media queries is that you can do a whole bunch of stuff. So it's definitely a tool that you wanna keep in your back pocket if you're planning on getting your hands dirty with the CSS of your Shopify theme. Highly recommend learning CSS too. It's a great skill to have, even if you're not a developer, because you have so much stuff that you can do. If you know CSS, you can transform how your Shopify store looks without having to add any new sections. Okay, so if you've been following along so far, you've successfully hidden the announcement bar of your Shopify store on mobile screens. Now, as I mentioned earlier, even if you're not trying to get deep into the world of Shopify coding, having some CSS skills as a merchant is huge. So I definitely recommend looking deeper into some CSS stuff if you're interested. Now, obviously you care about the design of your Shopify store and you wanna improve it. So I have another video that I think you might really like. In that video, I go through the design of a Shopify store that's doing $600,000 a month in revenue. Yes, you did hear me right they're making money over there. So I figured it'd be cool to break down their design and see what ideas we could take. So if that sounds interesting to you, that video should be somewhere at the bottom of the screen. So click on that and I can't wait to see you in there.